Today we're going to be exploring uh, World Labs, which is uh, part of the Marvel website. This new AI tool where you can, as far as I'm aware, put in a photo of some sort or some animation, like a 2D image, and create a world out of it and be able to explore that world. So, for example, I can click on, you know, this is their main website here, marble.worldlabs.ai, and I can just click on, you know, a picture that I like. Say I like, I don't know, this cave, for example. And it's going to give me this very interesting sort of 3D world, you know, effect that I can explore just by moving my mouse around, which is very interesting. And I can even go, oh, I can't, okay, there you go. You can even go behind as well, which is very cool. Look out the window. You know, it's a bit blurry in some bits, but for what it's doing and figuring out, you know, everything else from just one 2D image is actually insane. And, oh, what? Ah. <gasps> Oh, okay. I can zoom out. It's like a... Oh, that's weird. It's kind of like how a memory works, right? Like I can... Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Well, this is its first iteration, I imagine. This is very, very impressive already for me. So I'm very excited to, in, you know, input my own photos and even some family photos and stuff and just sort of, you know, get an idea of what you can do with this to be able to, you know, like almost street view around a 2D image is kind of nuts. So... Let's log in, continue, and we get a problem here already, which I have read about. Some other people got this exact same problem. Um, doesn't look like you're off the wait list yet. Well, I'm not on the wait list as far as I'm aware, but apparently I'm not off it, whatever that means. So I need to click on this little thing here for this form. And once I click on that, a form will appear. And you fill out this form and apparently it will get you access. So I'm going to come back to this video a bit later Hopefully, once I get access, I did read it can take people about 24 hours. So we'll come back to this and hopefully we can um, explore this new AI tool. All right. So it's the next day. Um, it is in the morning, about nine o'clock. And I did receive an email from World Labs saying that my marble beta access is active. So I'm going to click on that. And we've got mini and we've also got plus 45 seconds or six minutes. Okay. That's interesting. So you've got two options here. Wait, 45 seconds for the mini version or you wait six minutes for the plus but you get a much higher quality one i'm going to try the plus i think oh no you need credits okay interesting so you need 10 credits and 50 credits let's try the small one first and see what happens i will upload a picture that i have okay so i've got this picture of me as a baby as a child small image i've been cropping on my old family photos uh, it's currently in progress so this is i'm very interested to see how this turns out and it only takes a few seconds, apparently. 40, was it 46 seconds, I think? Whoa. Now, can I click on that? Does that get bigger? Yeah, okay. Full screen, I like this. It's generating it. It's figuring out reality. What is reality? What isn't reality? Okay. Oh, wow, well, okay. <laughs> well, it's definitely made a world. Ah, oh, whoa. Okay, it gets pretty warped. It gets pretty sketchy, but even the picture itself is kind of... Can I get lower on this? Is there a way to go up and... Oh, yeah, I can get lower. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, what did I push? I just pushed control, and now I can't get back up again. I'm trapped in my own nightmares. How do I get out of that? <laughs> can I reset it? Share world? No. I can... So I can download the world. World info. Okay, it tells what the prompt was two minutes ago. Oh, I pushed spacebar. I think I pushed spacebar. Okay, back into the world. So if I push down on control, you drop a bit. But how do I get back up is the question. We figured it out. So space bar makes you go up and control makes you go down. I'm not sure that'll work on everyone's uh, system. So this is a quick lower res version of the world. So to say the tree is pretty similar to the real tree, but obviously I, I, there's no way that it can compare to you know real stuff because it's not referencing anything real other than the photo itself. But it's done a pretty good job of making a world around it. I'm curious what the higher res version is going to look like. So it's pretty warpy, pretty weird, but it's pretty cool. And then I'm, well, I can go straight out of there, out of this world, as you would say. You can hear my computer going crazy on that, trying to, f whoa, so it's actually kind of, whoa. Okay, so I've um, re-uploaded that photo. I'm going to click this time on the plus one. It takes six minutes. Hit generate. Now, I haven't prompted this at all. Am I meant to prompt something? All right, so that has finished. So we're going to click on this one here. I think it's this one, top one, marble plus used extra credits and let's see how much better this is meant to look um okay uh hmm hmm i'm gone 
Okay, so it didn't work great and it looks even worse quality. So that one costs more credit. So obviously this is, you know, this is beta, right? This is near the start of its um, technology. It's a very cool technology. Um, I think it's still got a long way to go, unfortunately. But yeah, I'm not even in that picture or that picture in reference. So maybe the picture was too low res. I'm not too sure, but I was definitely the focal point of it. I think it's amazing. I think for a first iteration of this technology is unbelievable. I, I'm not exactly sure what you could do with this tech <laughs> per se. I guess like it, you can do animation and all sorts of like, you know, cool effects and parallax things and stuff for moving photos. Um, but there's some AI stuff now that kind of does that automatically for you. It's, I think it needs obviously some more, like what is even, what is, what is all this? Yeah, it needs, obviously needs some more training of how it works, but that cost me more credits and it's given me something far worse. Okay, so this is um, an image I'm uh, currently working on from a from Mid Journey, and this is a a space sort of video I'm working on at the moment, which I'm really enjoying making actually. Um, do we try the plus highest quality model, larger spaces? I feel like the quick one did a pretty good job last time, so let's try generate for this one, and let's have a look at this. I, I, I still love that effect. That effect's very cool. Wonder how much computer power that takes to use. All right, so what's behind it? Okay, it looks like, okay, we're in like some sort of like a factory sort of spaceship camera sort of thing. Okay, and the resolution just drops dramatically. It was kind of an SD image anyway, but it wasn't that bad. But that's, yeah, it's basically unusable for anything if you're doing any sort of animation, unfortunately. But return to origin. Ah, there we go. There's our origin. Okay, that's good to know. So down the bottom, return to origin. That's how you do it. I'm mucking around pushing random buttons for no reason. So that's, um, okay, not super impressed. Uh, the text cool though, but it's, yeah, it's not, not great by any means, unfortunately. And let's just do the plus version and let's see what happens with this plus one. See if we get a better resolution image, hopefully free beta pricing and plans coming soon. So this is completely free. I can do any sort of thing for as long as I want, which is very cool. Um, we have a discord here, help worlds. Now these just other, no, these are my worlds, All right? I can create the worlds. These are the worlds and I can explore are these other people's worlds or just like their sort of templates or examples? I'm not too sure about that. Okay, so that um, has finished. So let's have a look. They look very similar, these two pictures, although that does look a little bit clearer, but sort of false clear. Let's uh, view the world and see what's going on here. I still love that animation. It's very cool. Um, okay, we'll look behind us. Very similar to the other one. There's a bit more activity down here and there's an earth over there. Okay, so, okay, so we're seeing sort of both sides of the earth there. A few more moons in the distance. And if I move through, a lot clearer, heaps clearer this time, uh, which is interesting. I can sort of look around and, you know, things at the back of things aren't sort of generated, which is all fine, but okay. So it's not, oh, that's weird. Like it's sort of the, what is that meant to be? So it's not, it's not great. Let, let's be honest. It's not great. However, it's revolutionary. Like to make something that quick from one image is unbelievable. To 3D map a space and sort of, you know, AI and figure out what could be around, what is around. And let's go through, you can go through walls, which is kind of fun. Um, very impressive what it is doing. And I love, I love this whole, like that sort of blows my mind a lot, which is very cool. Um, I'm just, however, not that impressed with the quality we're getting at this stage, but that will change. Like, look at the first, you know, iterations of mid journey. They were awful at the time. We thought it was cool, but compared to where it went, um, a whole different story. So, uh, this is marble world labs, AI, very easy to access free at the moment. Um, so get in there and have a play because I, love the idea of doing more sort of family photos. That's the sort of stuff that interests me the most to sort of expand worlds and, and animate um, family images to me is sort of an, an important thing for myself. Um, but I think you could do this for all sorts of stuff. You could, you know, so anyway, uh, this is my review, my tutorial, my look at Marble uh, World Labs, and I hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe and check out my other videos. I've got all sorts of crazy stuff on this channel. Anything AI I can get my hands on, I'm sort of making at the moment in any way, shape or form. So um, yeah, have a look around and I'll do some more of these videos because this stuff really interests me and there's all sorts of new tech coming out. But to 
having the free form controls on this is definitely very impressive to be able to just move like this. I'm not sort of locked in with like, a, you know, an AI, like telling me what it should be. It's I'm able to manually control it the way I want when I'm looking around. Very cool. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video.